How's it baby, my sweeties? This is B here. We have another e-liquid coming to you today from Chuckers. The stuff. Yes, you know this stuff is delicious. Okay. Today we are doing Chucker Punch. And here is the bottle. Very interesting. I can barely read that, I know, but what can you do? Alright, this stuff is pretty good. I'm not a huge fan of it. It is not an all-day vape for me, because as you already know, out of Chuckers so far, his all-day vape is the Mother Chucker, and it is really good. This one, I don't know the actual whole dialogue of the flavor. But I'm going to tell you what it tastes like. To me, it tastes like if you were to take raspberries, light raspberry, not heavy raspberry, light raspberry, and you take cherry limeade, and you squish them together and put them in this bottle. That's what it tastes like to me. Might not be what other people think, but that's what it tastes like to me. And I actually kind of like it. It's like a summery vape for me. This would be something I definitely vape in the summer months. But if you cannot tell, as behind me are wonderful Christmas lights, so that means it's December. So, with that said, let's vape. You know, right now. Hmm. Oh my gosh, that's so thick. It's like super raspberry cherry ish upon the inhale. And then as you're exhaling, you taste that lime. I don't know if it's intentional, but that's what comes across straight on the exhale for me. Raspberry on the inhale with cherry, limey, raspberry-ish on the exhale. But the exhale has a little bit of a bite. It's like a one on the scale so far. But I vape it a three milligram, so it might be a little higher for other people if you are vaping higher nicotine. Some people are different, some people are not. Weird combination of how it works, but it's the truth. Definitely limey on the exhale. Straight through the tongue, especially through the nose. Lots of lime. Oh, didn't tell you. Today, I'm vaping on the, people call it smock, but I call it smoke. I hate the term smock. It sounds weird. Is the X Cube 2. This is the 160 watt butt. I did get the app. And it is upgraded to the 180. So, this is technically a 180 watt. I don't even know what you'd use. So, we're just going to say it's running at 180. But. The box says 160. That kind of throws it off. I think that, I don't know. I don't really know how I feel about that. But that's for a whole other review. So, back to this. Mm. It's not super cherry. It's like more raspberry-ish than cherry. But you could really get kind of a cherry towards the end. Like if you've ever gone to Sonic and got your cherry limeade, you would know exactly what I'm talking about. Just add a little bit of the raspberry, cool, I don't even remember what they're called, they're like slushies. But if you were to like throw those two together, that's what this tastes like to me. Or maybe like all of the blue nerds with it. I don't know. It's like a mystery flavor for me. That's very interesting, because on each hit, it's kind of like, sorry, I have a cat staring at me right now. That was a little strange. It's kind of like complex, like each hit kind of changes. And one will go from like a cherry limeade and a tiny bit of raspberry, and then the next hit kind of ex escalates the raspberry. It's a little complex to talk about. Because it's a very complex vape for me. Shit. 
Shoutouts to everybody who had their drink ready. Sorry about that momentary pause, but my screen said that my battery's low. Yes, I really just took that long. But I had to adjust the wattage. I'm at 90. And the battery is a little, a little low. So it's kind of like spitting back on me right now. But I think I should just lower it a little bit for a while. Mm, much better. That worked out a lot better. Definitely raspberry. I cannot miss raspberry whatsoever. Mm. How do you feel? The one thing I really like about this is once, okay, let's put it this way. Certain flavors, when I will stop vaping them for like a second, the flavor disappears on your tongue. It's not there anymore. But with this flavor, it stays, like, you seriously have, like, a raspberry limeade taste on your tongue. Maybe not so much limeade, because there's really not any lime there. More cherry raspberry than the lime. She will be okay for one minute. Mm. It's really summery. So if you get bummed out, during this winter, which I know you will, anybody from Ohio does. Oh, get this. It will remind you immediately of June, which is the best month because that's my birthday. Definitely raspberry. You cannot miss this. Or I could just be crazy and thinking this flavor tastes like raspberry, but it's really raspberry cherry limeade for me. It's definitely a punch, which I really like. I like the mm, the vapes that just kind of kick you in the face. But this isn't really one of those. It's like a milder version. And I like that. It's kind of neat. Because when I don't want to be vaping stuff that I would kind of compare to what I would normally smoke, which would be a black wild. So that kind of gets it a little bit closer. The bite is still one. It's not harsh. I love that. kind of wish it was a little bit more biteier, but I do like it. I do like it a lot. Mm, that one's really good though. So with that said, let's vape this. I already did a logo design for, well, rating for their design on the Mother Truckers, but each one kind of has its own little thing going on. I really dig that this one has the burgundy-ish mustache going on and the broken glass. That's really unique. I like that. It kind of goes with each you know, flavor has their own thing going on. That's pretty cool. So with that bottle, I'm going to rate the design a 10 out of 10 because that is amazing. That was a great idea. I couldn't have thought of it, you know, myself. That would have been, you know, definitely something I wouldn't have really picked up on, but definitely picked up on that. That's pretty good. I like that. Everything's there. Ingredients, warnings, batch numbers, Tells you the milligram, Max VG, everything's there. I like that. That's pretty cool. 10 out of 10 on the label, bam. That was a pretty good one. Now the flavor. I'm gonna vape it one more time before I throw that rating out there. The 
chair is moving way too much next to this PlayStation. So, that didn't work out. So, just take that moment to forget those O's didn't happen, because they didn't. <laughs> this flavor, I really like it. It takes me immediately into summer as soon as I vape it, and I love that. I love that it kind of gives you a seasonal feel, but it's not seasonal. It's not limited, so that's really good. That's great for you. Yep, I love it. It's pretty good. It's not one of my all-the-time vapes. It is not really a 9 out of 10 for me, but it is an 8 out of 10. So, thumbs up on getting an 8 out of 10. I really, really like this flavor, but it is not an all-day vape for me, and it is not a favorite, unfortunately. But I do really like that, so that's pretty good. Congratulations on an 8 out of 10 on the flavor and a 10 out of 10 on that logo. That's pretty cool. So with that said, let's have our final vape, and you guys can go. Mm. Bye guys.